Boys, everyone has an opinion, but few know the facts. Okay? I get my in-depth match stats and analytics at alloutrugby.com for all your ratings, rankings, and rantings. Hi there, guys, and welcome to All Out Rugby TV. In this episode of Tech Chat, we've got Coach Tank with us. He's going to be talking about his favorite subject, fielding the high ball. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> not his Obviously, the man is brought to scrum. Tankers, we're going to chat about the straight scrum feet. And, yes. You know, maybe perhaps we should be using those as rugby. I don't know. What do you think? Can we please bring it back? Yeah. Okay, but one, because it makes it a contest, but there's actually some science behind it. So if we look at a modern day scrum, okay, it's basically you've got two heads there and you've got a straight back, you're meant to have uh, uh, legs down there, and, and it's, it's basically as low as you possibly can. So it's basically a grass cutter. And at the moment, you can feed the ball wherever you want. Literally, it goes under the, un, under the lock speed. That's because the coaches moaned about not getting their own ball. So they said, no, 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 you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna police the scrum so, so vigorously, then, you, then you've gotta allow this new feed because we've got to be able to get our ball. I'm saying, let's bring back the straight feed, please. Let's make it a contest. You, you will automatically raise the level of the scrum because you're going to have to strike, okay? So you bring back the strike. Right. The, losing the strike in, in rugby has meant that the scrum has got lower and lower and lower, and that's why we're having so many more resets. I say you bring back the straight feed, force the guys to strike, and you're going to raise the level of the scrum, you're going to have fewer resets, plus you're going to make it a contest. Now, I do think that you're, if you've earned the right to, to have the, the scrum feed, you should have an advantage, right. but you do. So. Um, Referee taps the, the, the hooker or gives the, the scrum off the, the nod, he can tap his hooker. That means you can decide when you want to go. Right. So, so as a scrum coach, I always say that scrumming is about timing. You can have beer moths, you can have massive men, but if you're not working together, you're over. And that's where the RGs get it right um, on the Bajada. It's basically about getting the timing right. So if you still allow the, 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 the team feeding the scrum to call the timing, sure the, the, the ref can say, okay, we, we're good to go. But if you can call the timing, that means they can go like a, a vasty now or a stormers now, and they're gonna they're gonna dip on the on the stormers and then they're gonna explode on the now. Plus they're gonna get the strike from the from the foot. Right. Um, and that is your advantage, and that you you get the feed and you then you control the timing of the scrum. But let's have a skew feed. I mean, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yeah. Let's have the straight feed. Let's get that scrum set higher right. and fewer resets. In this example they take as well, this defensive side just ignore the, the opportunity to try and strike that ball and just get low enough and go for an eight-man push? Potentially. Okay, but, but then, then a referee is looking at a, at a scrum slightly differently because if they've, if they've chosen to do that, yes. they're in all likelihood going to be responsible for the, for the collapse and that's when they can bring out the short arm or even a penalty, they love a penalty. Um, but I like the talk that they're, they're saying that you need, to, you need to strike for the ball. So, so, so make both make sides strike for the ball, exactly. And let's bring it back as a contest with both feet. You know, in the old days, you used to you know, sneak a, a sneaky, um, you'd hook the ball for a tight end. Nowadays, you never see that. It's all about the eight-man shot. But I'm saying, let's bring back the strike. Yeah, I've got it, I agree. Guys, if you're still awake, congratulations. You just made it through an entire scrum discussion with Coach Tank. Stay tuned for the next one. The players continue shouting at the TV, boys. Go to alloutrugby.com to have your say by writing the players. Alloutrugby.com for all your ratings, rankings and rantings. All right.